Seriously, I have too many hutches. They're great storage. But I found this hutch, this old Jacobean hutch, on Facebook Marketplace for $50, and I had to have it. It'll paint up so beautiful. I already know how I want to paint it. Watch and see. When you get an old piece like this, it's covered with years and years of polish and wax. I use TSP on this piece, the non-phosphate kind, to remove some of that dirt. And I also used some Totally Awesome Orange after that to help get it completely clean. I washed a piece thoroughly with these two things to get all that wax and dirt off. Look how dirty it was. Ooh. Once it was dry, I knew just what color I wanted to paint it. DIY white swan on the inside. But take a hint from my granddaughter. She looked at this cabinet one day and she said, Mama, you ever use any of this stuff? So every time I use some of it, I say, hey, Lily, I'm using some stuff out of the cabinet. Because if you don't use it, your children and grandchildren won't, won't love it. They won't have any memories to go with it. So I painted this hutch on the inside white swan. It took three coats of paint to get this inside covered well. I started out using my little Frenchie brush in the corners where the boards were to get came together and other hard to reach places. And then I used my little flat brush similar to the sampler brush I sell on my website, goodsomevintagetreasures.com, to do the large flat areas. Next, I painted the outside one of my favorite colors, Apothecary. It's a DIY paint that's kind of a gray green. Again, I used my little Frenchie brush to do the little seams and cracks and the detailing. This piece had a little indention that went around it and I wanted to make sure I got all the paint into that part. Then I used my flat brush to paint the broader areas. I used my water bottle which is a misting bottle to spray water to help move the paint around on the piece. A big piece like this takes a lot of work. I painted two coats on this piece. another hutch in her home. This hutch is probably more than a hundred years old. It belonged to my husband's mother and we recently got it from one of his nieces who decided that she just didn't have room for it. Hutches can hold memories besides glassware and collections. Next I painted the outside of the chest with Big Top. Big Top is our finish to protect the chalk paint and bring back the beautiful color of the paint. Can you see how it darkens as I put the big top over it? For this piece, I didn't remove the pulls. I just painted them and then I went ahead and put the finish over them, making sure I got under and over and into all parts. carefully put the big top in all the details. The piece of wood on the glass is actually on the inside of the glass. Then I put big top on the inside too to protect the inside. This piece also has some shelves that I added the paint and big top to. And I sell a lot of nostalgia. Old Christmas ornaments, old pieces of furniture uplifted into a new idea. That's the way it is with this hutch. This old 1930s, 1940s hutch. I painted a beautiful green with a white and gave it a new life. And when the piece was finished, it looked wonderful in my booth. I love the details. I love how my pottery collection shows up in it. You can buy DIY paint and brushes at goodsandvintagetreasures.com or at the Picket Fence Antiques and More in Newton, North Carolina. Don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button. 
home storage for my paint. It's a hutch, of course it's a hutch. It's a hutch.